where hip hop rap specifically went wrong was when it started sampling itself. Instead of me sampling punk and uh, reggae and polka and uh, Czechoslovakian music or whatever, or Beethoven, I go and I just sample uh, Premier. Or, you know, that's where it lost its soul. And Kanye's admitted to doing that. We're going to pass on Kanye. I got pictures of him, and I was taking pictures of him, and he says, Oh, that's enough. So I asked him, and I don't want to say it, I don't want to be too profane. I'm like, okay, is there a limit to the number of pictures I'm supposed to take? Who the fuck is you anyway, you know? And he jumps back and the goons around him. I said, what? And the goons, you know, now they got more professional goons that are getting paid more, but you know, they look at me, my eyes don't look right. This cat, you know, this cat is unpredictable. He's not 18. <laughs> He's not slim, his pants ain't, you know, fuck it, you know, oh no. I said, yeah, whatever. And I got him, uh, I got a picture of him with a pink shirt on. <laughs> Who got my magazine? You got the magazine? Show him the picture with the pink shirt. I ain't bullshitting. Next question. I got a question. Yes, sir. And I can't I tell if you're awake or asleep with them no, fucking no. shades, what? I ask you this because I, I think, I know that you know where hip hop was born. So it's a cliche question, but I think you know the answer. Like, is it dead? And this is just because I actually think you would know the meaning of it, where it was born, and you know, is it is it hurt right now? Marcus or is Garvey it... was supposedly dead two or three times, and if you listen to Burning Spear, they say it's the very last page, huh? Burning Spear, you hear him say, one man can't be dead and buried more than one time. I have seen more obituaries for, here he is, doing his little rocker, his little uh, demonic bullshit, see? Yeah, this is my photograph, all right? This is him doing that little demonic bullshit that he doesn't even understand that when you use that energy, you're being used, okay? You can only build on the power of good. You cannot build on the power of evil. That's me with the X-Clan. Follow the pro flow. On and on and on you go. And he dissed KRS-One, Professor X. He said, no more questioning my blackness. No more questioning the polish on the boot. No more being troubled by some radio station call letters. <laughs> KRS-One, you didn't know that. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So is hip hop dead? I don't think so. Because I prefaced it by saying that hip hop is an ancient vibe. The vibe is always with us. And I perceive my job is educating you to grab a hold of that vibe and use it to help feed, clothe, and protect your community, your family. First, it begins with you being men with your children. God damn it, too many of you make a baby and run. You got the magic sneakers. And then there's some cat like me standing by the door. Looking like Armageddon on your ass. And you women, you got something special. Don't give it to everybody. Everybody don't appreciate it. Hey, for real. Real talk. For real. Real talk. And most of them don't know what to do with it when they got it. Look what I got. Whoa. You know, like the guy with the three balls. What? No, I'm right. talking about juggling. Yes. Speaking of women. No, you got to speak louder. All right. First of all, I want to thank you for coming and sharing your words, sharing your spirit, your energy with us. Thank you. Um, I'm and glad somebody appreciates my tired <laughs> ass. You talked a little earlier on. You said that hip-hop couldn't have been possible without the women. But, you know, I didn't notice a whole lot of women in, in the... I don't have... Place. I have the wrong memory stick. That's basically Nas and bullshit. Right. I have... A, I, that's my fault because I don't know that much about technology. I got memory sticks that show Light and Latifah, and I got a picture of Lauryn Hill will make you cry. That's good. As a woman, I want to see other women well, represent. look at my magazine. Look at my book. I'm selling... I got three little books there I'm selling. That's it because all the rest already evaporated. Trust me, no woman... No woman in hip hop has ever been photographed more beautifully and more articulately and more as a message to these 
hard dick, soft head fuckers out here than my pictures. Give me my who shot you. Let me show you something. Put, put, find that picture of Latifah. That's a valid question, but, you know, technology, technology bites you on the, sometimes it's great, sometimes it bites you on the behind. Yes, ma'am. My, my baby, what? You're so fine. Look at you. She's in the back all quiet, just looking beautiful. I'm going to make you blush. Talk to me. I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to ask you, you were talking earlier about a lot of artists and their, you know, the humble beginnings and positive roots of hip-hop. And I want to know what you think that that turning point or that tipping point was. Because all of a sudden, like, you know, when you're full of direction, you're part of it. Let me explain something to you. And please, please, if you leave with nothing else. If you leave with nothing else, understand that the roots of control, political, economic, social, and sexual, and racial, are predicated of one thing first, and that is economics. Without slavery, you could not have the cotton barons who are now 300 years rich from slave labor. You could not have that. It would not be possible. It was based on economics. Here, for if you want to see my pictures of women, you will never see a more beautiful picture of Queen Latifah in your fucking life than that picture. That's just one. Uh, Moni Love. Okay? When I photograph women, I photograph them two ways. I photograph them potentially as if they're my daughters and if they're my mothers and if they're my sisters. Okay? All through the book, you're going to find women, and all through the book, you're going to find women that are supremely beautiful in front of my lens.